Posta is the postal service of the Faroe Islands and was founded on 1 April 1976 under the home rule of the Faroe Islands. On 16 December 2005, it became a public joint stock company under the name P. F. Postwerk für ja retroactive from 1 January 2005. About 290 clerks work for Posta. There are 34 post offices, and 90 postal carriers supporting the country's 17,000 households and 48,000 inhabitants. Name The Faroese name Postwerk Furya uses the genitive form of the country's name Furyar, Pharaohs, thus Furya without the final R. The name means literally, postal works of the Pharaohs, while the word for post or mail is postor. In 2010, Postwerk Furya changed name to Posta. Many synonyms are officially allowed for the Faroese post. Postverki, the postwork. Furya postwork, Faroese postwork. Postor, post. Furya postor, Faro post. Posterforoya, post Faro. Posturin, the post. Post Faro or even Faro Post Posta Topic Postal History Topic Skew Before regular boat service was established between the islands, a special transport system was required to enable people from the different islands to exchange messages. This system was called SKU. It involved a skuskafari, or agent, being appointed in every village with the duty of organizing a crew to transport people, letters or parcels from one village to another. The SKU system was actually introduced in around the mid-1860s, with the first SKU Act coming into force in 1865. SKU charges were laid down by the Logting, the Faroese Representative Council, for five years at a time. There were three types of SKU. Official Clerical and private, the charges for SKU varied, with official being the cheapest and private the most expensive. There was no charge for SKU prior to 1865. All healthy males of between 15 and 50 years of age were liable for SKU, i.e. they could not refuse without incurring a fine. It was never an easy task to transport mail from one island to another across perilous waters where there were often powerful currents. Peter S. Johansson, who was one of the first post carriers, tells of a letter delivery from the days of SKU. The letter, which had to go from Torshown to Valba on Suroy, was marked K.T. i.e., Congelig Geneste, on His Majesty's service and bore the endorsement Uipholdelig Bifordring for immediate delivery, i.e. it had to be dispatched as soon as the weather permitted. The letter was first given to the SKU agent in Torshown, who immediately got hold of a man liable for SKU. The man walked from Torshown to Kirkjabur, where he handed the letter over to the SKU agent in the village. The agent got a boat with eight men to carry the letter to Sandoy, to where the village of Skopin lies today. 
one of the men in the boat then had to walk to the village of Sander with the letter and hand it over to the village's skew agent, after which he returned to the boat, which was still waiting for him. The skew agent in Sander then got a man to walk to Delure with the letter, after which it was carried by boat from Delure to Valba on Suroy. Here the letter was handed over to the priest. Owing to strong currents and bad weather the skew crew were unable to row back to Delure that evening. The weather worsened during the night and the men had to stay on the island for two weeks. The skew system existed right up until around World War I, but was not used as much by then, as the post office's rates were relatively low and so represented a reasonable alternative. First post offices The first Faroese post office was opened in Torshown on 1 March 1870. The local Sislamore at the time on the southern part of Stramoy, H.C. Muller, was in charge of the management of the post office for the first several years. On 1 March 1884, the post office on Tiveroyri was opened. The third post office on the Faroes was opened in Klaxvik on 1 May 1888. Both on Tiveroyri and in Torshown, the management of the post was conducted by the local Sislamor. In the 19th century, there were only these three post offices. After the turn of the century, the pace picked up. In 1903, seven post offices were opened. During the following 25 years, post offices were opened in essentially all of the settlements on the Faroes. Most of them were opened in 1918, when 15 new post offices were added. Starting in the late 1960s and continuing up to the present, a number of post offices have been closed. Postal service for the inhabitants of these settlements is now conducted by service agents. This change is part of the efficiency policy which the Faroese Post Office has been pursuing for the last few years. Until 1 April 1976, the Faroese postal system was under the direction of Post Denmark Post and Telegraph System. At that time the Faroese postal system was organized so that it had a post office, Torshown post office managed by a postmaster. Then came the postal clerks with the so-called postal agents as managers. The postal clerks were located in the following settlements, Klaxvik, Tveroiri, Vigor, Vestmana and Saltangara. All the other post offices were divided into two groups. The larger ones were called letter collection sites, and the smaller were called postal exchange sites. Together with Torshown, these five post offices are still the main post offices. Founding of Postwerk für ja. After the election for the Logting in November 1974, the government decided that the postal service in the Faroes should be taken over by the Faroese Home Rule. In 1975, the Danish government and the Faroese government began negotiations on the takeover issue. The results of these negotiations led to the Faroese government taking over the postal service in the Faroes as of 1 April 1976. 
This new institution received the name Postwerk für ja, Post of the Pharaohs. A ram's horn was chosen as the institution's logo. As a natural consequence of the takeover, two new departments were established within the Faroese postal system. The Postage Stamp Department the post office gyro, work was being done on restructuring the Faroese postal system, with the intent being for Postwerk für ja, which was a public institution, to be reorganized into a type of joint stock enterprise. The postal system however continued to be a public company. Philatelic history Having used Danish stamps since 1870, the pharaohs finally began their own issues on 30 January 1975 when the Danish postal system began issues with the caption Furyar. Since 1 April 1976, the postage stamp department of Postwerk für ja has assumed full responsibility for all Faroese postage stamps including production and issue. See also List of postal codes in the Faroe Islands Postage stamps and postal history of the Faroe Islands <laughs>